because Jesus is our resurrected Savior, we are assured that we who believe in him will also be resurrected. Jesus, the Holy Son of God, came to planet Earth for a mission. And his mission was to lay down his life by embracing death on our behalf. He underwent a crucifixion for our sake on the cross of Calvary and was resurrected and ascended into heaven to sit at the right hand of his Father. In Luke 24 verse 51 Jesus leads the eleven remaining disciples to Bethany, a village on the Mount of Olives, and instructs them to remain in Jerusalem until the coming of the Holy Spirit. And it came to pass, while he blessed them, he parted from them, and was carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him, and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And in Acts 1 verses 2-9, Jesus tells the disciples to remain in Jerusalem and await the coming of the Holy Spirit, he is then taken up from the disciples in their sight, a cloud hides him from view, and two men in white appear to tell them that he will return in the same way you've seen him go into heaven. Reading from verse 2 it reads, Until the day in which he was taken up, after that he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles, whom he had chosen, to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them forty days, and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God and, being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which, saith he, ye have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons, which the Father hath put in his own power. But ye shall receive power, after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. Jesus traveled upward into the heavens to be with his Father, and the Bible tells us of Christ's present position, being seated by his Father. In Hebrews 12 verse 2, it states, Looking unto Jesus the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. In Psalm 24 verses 7 to 10, it tells of Christ's return to his glorious kingdom, and there were many thousands of angels waiting to meet him and welcome him back to the heavenly kingdom. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Reading from verse 7 of Psalm 24, it states, Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Selah. We pray that you have obeyed the voice of the Holy Spirit of the Lord and have chosen to be baptized as Christ did by immersion by John the Baptist the prophet. Salvation is free, but it is certainly not cheap. We are assured that if we believe in Christ and follow in his footsteps in allegiance and obedience to him, we will be saved. We hope that you have been blessed by viewing this video. God bless you. We ask you to subscribe, comment, share and like our videos with your friends and families. Until next time. May the Lord be with you all and please have a wonderful day.